Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Try Railway Empire, the Complete Collection. We've of course played Railway Empire on the channel before, but now the Complete Collection ha is one sort of convenient package for all the expansions and DLCs and everything that have come out for Railway Empire since the game was originally published. You can find information in the description box, more details, as well as links about where you can pick this up. It is out now for PC and consoles, um, and that includes the Switch. There's a Switch edition that, personally, I'm I'm very excited for. I love my Switch a lot. I don't know. I, I put in, I've probably put in more time on my Switch than any other console in the last... In the last decade, probably. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the Switch. We're here to talk about Railway Empire. So, the DLC that did come out since the release of the game includes Mexico, the Great Lakes, which I like to think of as the Canadian expansion, Crossing the Andes, Great Britain and Ireland, France, Germany, Northern Europe, and Down Under. And uh, so, I mean, these are available in a variety of different modes, your free play, your sandbox, different things like that. But we're going to jump into the scenarios over here. Uh, and we can take a look at them. So here's our uh, US of A. This is the, uh, the out of the box, what we've got. We've got Mexico added here. We've got the Great Lakes area. You can see it covers a lot of area. Actually, that's that's a vast amount of territory. Huge. Uh, we've got South America here. So that's from the Cross in the Andes expansion. Great Britain and Ireland. Germany and surrounding areas. France. Northern Europe. So sort of a Scandinavian area. Uh, and Down Under. But we are going to play, of course, the Canadian expansion with Dominion Day over here. In 1861, the Canadian provinces of British North America were sparsely populated conglomeration of colonies. The Grand Trunk Railway is full of hope to connect the industrial centers, which are far apart from each other someday. But they are currently in the slump of indebtedness. Instead of coming to progress and wealth, stagnancy and economic dependency are threats now. It is time for a change. So because this is a scenario, um, a lot of our starting situations are locked. Of course, again, there's the sort of free play mode and all those things if you want more flexibility. But I wanna, I'm, I'm challenged by this, by this scenario. I want to beat this. I have tried it and lost. So hopefully we'll do a little bit better in the video here. Um, what was I else gonna say? Yeah, so some things are kind of locked in. So we're gonna be starting two million bucks. We're gonna be starting in Montreal. We've got three competitors. Uh, we're gonna leave these, the, the defaults are normal here. Rail network realistic. Uh, the difference here is that with realistic, you're gonna have to build sidings or double tracks and use signals for your trains to pass each other. Where if you play in just sort of normal mode over here, the trains are able to pass each other on the track perfectly fine. Uh, so, you know, just gonna be based on your, your preferences and how in, much into the nitty gritty you wanna do. You can also configure the pause in normal mode over here. Um, the game will pause when you're doing building, but you, there's no manual pause. You can flip the manual over here, so you can choose to manually pause if you want. And then there's Trainiac, where it doesn't pause at all, other than a couple of a couple of pop-ups still pause the game. You get a bonus in your score for that. I'm just going to play on normal. I'm going to leave the game level to medium. And check this out, snowfall over here. So at some point, we did get weather introduced into the game, and that's one of the reasons that I thought playing in Canada would be fine. I suppose Northern Europe is probably, again, would probably experience um, some definite weather events as well, but uh, I can tell you we're definitely going to get some over here. So, let's go. There is a bunch of voices in this game. I have got the voices muted because my voice is the voice that matters here, but they are very good. Um, so, oh, the general over here, for example, would, uh, would comment on us, and then once we get into the scenario, we'd get a big um, voice acted explanation of the scenario and feedback about what we're doing and it is very good but it was sort of getting in the way of my commentary so unfortunately I had to turn it off. Normally there's multiple characters that you can play as but in this scenario we are locked on the general. Now it's quite nice because he actually gets a massive discount to building tracks and again we've got a huge amount of territory to cover so our track construction costs would actually be pretty meaningful. He does charge us a lot more for tunnels and bridges but hopefully we will uh, we'll just work around that instead of going through mountains and hills we'll try to go around them probably so there you go we're gonna be playing as jonathan johnson of the grand trunk railroad looks like i can change uh the general's name but we'll leave him as is hello little kangaroo or is that a wallaby i don't know all right here we go so right now um Sir Edward William Watkin would be giving us a big intro. You can pause and read along there if you would like, but I'm just going to go and ignore him because I've already loaded this scenario, so I have a bit of an idea about what we're looking at. So there's a huge amount of space we can cover. You can see there's an opponent railway operating over here. There's one in southern Ontario, or I don't know if it was called Ontario then, but it is there. And we've got another opposing railway over there. But we are not interested in that. We are currently interested in this area over here, where we already have a track from... Ooh. Ooh, I think I want to buy this one. Oh, is it way up over there? Hmm. 
Hmm. No, I'm going to let that one go. I don't need to buy that rail or that uh, logging camp. That's going to be okay. So we already have a track from Montreal to Quebec. We don't have any trains on it yet, but it's already set up for us, which is very convenient. It's even dual tracked and it's got some crossings as well to help us work with that. We do have our initial tasks. If we go, oh, I meant to zoom in a little bit more. If you've never seen this game before, by the way, you can zoom in really close and it is lovely to look at. This doesn't need to be here. They put this in just because it was going to be nice and fun and enjoyable. And I appreciate that level of detail. So we have some tasks here. First, we have to connect Montreal with Grand Lac Victoria or Grand Lac Victoria, uh, and also con connecting Montreal with Saguenay. I don't know actually if that's how it's pronounced, but we'll see what we can do. So Grand Lac Victoria over here and Saguenay over here. So I propose we are first going to connect Gone lack. I think that's going to be okay. Oh, actually, the first thing I should probably do is get a little bit of a rail service between Montreal and Quebec so we can start making some money. That sounds like a relatively good idea. So we're going to set up a new rail line. We'll start in Montreal. We'll go to Quebec. And we are going to save that line. We'll add a locomotive to it. Right now, all we have access to is the Philadelphia, which came out in 1861, which is where we are over here. Um, it's not. It's not the greatest, but it'll have to do. We're going to purchase that. We don't have any personnel over here right now, but that's going to be okay. Um, and we're just going to leave it on automatic for the loading. So beer and passengers. Beer? Ooh. Deliver wood, get beer. Oh, it's a trading center. I was going to say, how do you make beer out of wood? But no, it's just a trading center. So if we deliver wood to Montreal, we will then be able to purchase beer, which then we can ship to other towns and make some money. Okay, well, we'll leave that be for now. Let's, uh, let's get to work over here. So we know we have to connect... Victoria, gonna unlock Victoria here. So let's construct. Um, maybe I'll I'll build a uh, a regular, an average or medium, I suppose, train station in the city. I think that's gonna be okay. I like how you plop it in the city and then the buildings just sort of move around. Um, in other rail games, like if you think of the classic, like even the the oldest of old school, um, Railroad Tycoon, right? From like I don't know thousand years ago um you'd have to be very careful with their placement to not get in the way of the buildings and i like this because the whole thing is this is it's 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 you know it's symbolic right so why not because obviously the city in real life would be much bigger than this with more buildings so why not move things around it looks neat i kind of wish i'd maybe line things up maybe a little bit more in line with the streets nah why do we always want straight lines don't need any of that all right let's build some track so I'm going to use the southernmost of these. So because we built a medium station, it start us off with uh, with two platforms. I'm just going to connect the southern platform for now. And we're going to stretch way out over here. So we do have a little bit of a gap between some hills. Our current layer slope is about 0%. We are doing a little bit of earthworks to move things around. But um, that is okay. Now, do I want to... Hmm. Hmm. Do I want to just go and connect you up to Quebec itself? I think I might want to do that. I think we're going to do this. 455 miles of track we just built here. And we've completed the track. So Montreal to Victoria. Note, like, this rail doesn't go directly into Montreal, but that's okay. Ooh, I didn't realize I built a bridge partway through. I probably added quite a lot of cost. But, I mean, it's all connected to the same network, so that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Let's, uh, let's make use of this connection right now. Victoria is not a particularly big or wealthy city. Um, it's actually shrinking right now because it doesn't have enough resources. It wants, it wants grain, corn, wood, and meat. And right now it's not getting enough of that, so it's currently shrinking. So we'll see if we can improve that. But yeah, let's set up a rail line. At least we can get passengers and mail started. And actually, Quebec produces meat. So Quebec City over here. So we'll do that. And we still just have the one locomotive. So we'll get you started, and that's going to be fine. All right, yeah, passengers and mail being loaded. We'll turn a little bit of money, and that's going to be okay. We've got over here, we do have a supply depot, or supply tower, actually, um, over there. We might want to build one, another one at the other end so that the trains can be serviced with... Uh, they need water because they're steam locomotives. Um, also, possibly sand and things for extra traction as they uh, as they climb uh, various inclines. Choo-choo! Will, stop obsessing about trains. What's our next task? Oh yes, just connecting up Saguenay. So this is a very, very quick start, you know? Just slap down a few buildings to start off with. We're gonna be all right. Uh, let's do another medium train station. Um, I don't, the big warehouse we're not gonna need in uh, in the train radius or the station radius as far as I know. 
Um, so let's put that here. We can line things up a little. Something kind of like that. There we go. That looks nice. And let's build some track. I'm going to use the southern platform here. Now, I think I'm going to connect it up to this. But, yeah, I'm going to want to make sure to intentionally go around these mountains here. So, right around here, 44,000. I mean, we still end up with 0% slope or grade. Maybe I'll, I'll turn it here. I'm going to do a little earthwork that's going to be okay. 42,000. Well, it's a shorter track as well, which is part of it. So we're going to end up with a 1% grade to meet up over here, but that's going to be okay. All right, that sounds good to me. Let's purchase that. That's going to complete the second task. And I will, right away, let me get a new train. So we'll set up a line from Quebec City to Saguenay. Boom. And the one locomotive we have access to. Okay. So they're going to be serviced. They'll hopefully turn a few bucks for us. And of course, we've got our Terpson giving us some extra quests and details over here. Let's see what this translates to. Deliver 30 loads of meat to Saguenay. So this town wants meat. That's probably one of the things that, yeah, it's demanding over here. To grow this town, it's going to need meat. And specifically, we have a task for it. Quebec produces meat. You can see it in the little tooltip over here. And if we click, it's the same situation as what was going on in Montreal. We've got a trading center. If we deliver wood here, we will get meat out of it. So we need to deliver some wood to Quebec City. And we can do that. We've got two different clearings here and here that'll produce logs for us. Now, because currently they're not connected to anything, I suspect if we take a look at our flow of goods and the wood, um, some of the goods are auto flowing to these two towns, but probably not very much. And there's nothing flowing out of here, which means I suspect, unless I am wrong, and I am never wrong, we can probably purchase this for next to nothing. 53 grand. Excellent. It will start an auction. Some of my AI, AI or opponents sorry, might compete for it, but I don't expect so because we're not around here. This clearing, yeah, it's worth more because it is trading some of its logs, but we're going to be trading a lot more. I think we can turn a pretty sizable profit by purchasing these two bad boys. We're going to do that. Then we're going to get just a small station. Now, whereas in the cities, you have to put the station within the city with, the, um, with these little, I don't know, businesses i'm not sure what you would call it uh you have to be outside but inside of the catchment area so just to make sure it's green like this and that's going to be all right so let's get you down there and what i'm going to do is i am just gonna i'm gonna connect you to the main line itself let's try to straighten out a little so the corners aren't quite as bad we're gonna do this oh worry. obviously we're gonna have multiple trains running on this and obviously that's not going to be good but we're gonna see what we can do about that soon and same thing over here i'm gonna use a small station Something like that. Oh, you can even see all the felled logs. That's cool. I don't think I'd noticed that. I don't think I was zoomed in as much before when I worked in these stations. And we're going to get you connected up. Uh, there we go. Something like this. All right. Now, I'm going to have a train that's going to deliver logs from here to Quebec and from here to Quebec. And then we'll have a bunch of meat started. However, however, right now that would clog up these lines. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some extra tracks here. We're at least going to have to build sidings so that trains can pass each other. But I actually might want to just sort of double line it. Sort of, I'm, I'm kind of making a, a mega siding. I'm not going to double rail the entire way. In fact, I'll stop short of the bridge because the bridges are expensive. I'm going to bring it to there. We're going to connect you up that way. Lock you in there. And I'll do the same thing at the other side, which I just realized I probably could have saved myself a little bit of a step by doing something like this. Okay. And then what I want to do is I want to let trains pass each other. And the best way for us to do that is probably to set up some signals. So placing the signals, you have to look at what's at the bottom. There's different behaviors if you just click versus holding shift versus shift and mouse wheeling versus control as well. There's a bunch of different options over here. Um, multiple signals. Oh, will it? Oh, I don't think. Was this feature always here with the multiple signals? Oh. That's cool. So it's going to make a bunch of signals along the way um, at sort of even uh, places. So if I hold shift and control, well, you know what? Oh, and the signals are free. Okay. And I click. Look at that. Well, I hadn't noticed that before. You actually want a series of signals. If you guys ever seen my, like, me play, say, Factorio as well, right? It's a good example. What happens? These signals split the track into small blocks because the trains are really smart. They're they, they, they avoid collisions. Trains will never collide with one another, but they will stop and block each other. 
Um, only one train can be in a single block of track. And so by splitting the track into multiple substeps like this, you ensure that trains don't get in each other's way. So for the signals, if you just place, you're just going to get this green arrow. If you hold shift, you get a directional thing. The, the difference is, so signals always have a direction. And what they do is they stop a train from entering this block if there's already a train in the upcoming block. By default, though, signals will only stop trains going in the direction of their arrow, so it won't do anything the other way. But the signals will allow trains to go in either direction. Here, if we want to force the signal to mean that trains can only flow in one direction, you do it by holding shift. Now, it's meaningless sort of here because this track, you can see by the motion, clearly already had a direction in there. Um, but if I were to do the same thing, so if I just, um, if I mouse wheel to change things, if I just click here and put down a normal signal like this, you can see what this is going to do. It's going to stop trains going from the right to the left over here from entering the next block if the block is busy, but it won't actually prevent trains from traveling, um, left to right because it's not the one way signal. We can remove it. We can also just change it. If I go and just shift click it now, there we go. It has been changed to this sort of thing. And if I go and do a shift control and click, look at all these signals. Oh, and they line up with one another. I had never noticed this control behavior before, which I'm kind of salty about because, oh my God, that would have saved me a lot of trouble. Okay. So by doing this, now we can have multiple trains going here and they're not going to get each other's way, which sounds great. We're going to set up a new rail line from Archer Clearing over to Quebec City. Done. Add a locomotive. Philadelphia and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna babysit this thing because I'm curious to see this depot over here it's got this many logs stored up right I'm curious to see um, uh, words are hard I'm curious to see if this one train is going to be able to drain this I suspect not this trains gonna take too long to make the trip I think we're gonna need more than one train um, operating out of Archer clearing so what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna take this train again and I'm just going to hit the clone train button. There we go. And we'll get another one over there. We may even want more than that because we are going to want to feed a lot of logs into Quebec. Now, speaking of this trading post, how much would it cost for you to buy it? Ooh, 1.6 million. I guess we're not going to do that because I was just thinking this thing's going to turn a lot of profit because we're going to be sending a lot of resources its way. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, hey, look, weather. Train, the engine is slowed down because of snow. Now, I don't know... If we have a way to clear this or do anything like that, we can do... Yeah, we can't put a plow in the front. I'm wondering, maybe in the uh, the research, which actually we do have enough points to unlock something. What is this? Express trains, passengers, 8% more, more passengers everywhere in the world. That sounds great. Let's unlock that. Oops, I meant to keep this open. Um, where are we? Not tasks, research. So we get in innovation points. We're currently getting 40 per month over here. And as we store them up, we do things. Some cost, you know, so 100, 200, 300 over here. And the main line over here of locomotives is locked based on how many uh, how many previous unlocks you've got. Notice there's some, some older stuff over here as well. So we need to unlock three things before we can get the Rensselaer 440 locomotive. We can get the number 51 dragon here or 200 research points. We'll probably do that. Unlock a caboose. Yeah, I was just wondering, I wonder if there's anything in here that affects weather and your ability to clear it. it wouldn't surprise me if there's something, but it turns out there's a lot of stuff. Creative accounting. Increased profit of factories by 15%. And it's cheap. Yeah, let's bid on that. That sounds great. All right, that poor train's still having a hard time. Uh, logging industry over here. Well, before I go and get more trains going, what we're going to do is similar to what we did before is I'm going to build a double track here like that. Okay. Um, we're going to do the signal thing. Control click. Change directions. Go control click. Excellent. And I'm also going to put a supply tower sort of in between here. Um, well, everyone should get supplied from there, but we probably want more. Let me get one here. One supply tower. We'll do both sides. Now, over here, what I probably want to do is make sure that these trains that are trying to get in here don't conflict. So I'm going to put a signal. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use a directional signal here. I'm just going to use a normal signal. 
like this and facing this way. And the same thing over there. What this signal is going to do, it's going to stop a train from entering this little connection point over here if there's already a train in this block. But only in this direction, right? It's only trains that are coming out from here or out from here and trying to enter there. They will get stopped until it's clear. Um, these signals are smart, so there shouldn't be a situation where a train is stopped here and a train is stopped here waiting to go. Plus, in any case, if a train is stopped on this side, it's not going to stop a train from coming through onto the other one. So I think that looking pretty okay. So with that, set up a rail line from here to there, add locomotive, IU, and I think I'm going to clone this one, so we're going to have two, because yeah, I think they can go a lot of work. Stupid snow getting in the way, and then one of our trains is waiting, because this one is, well, this one's currently loading, and then it's going to go. I could build some extra signals over here, since this train is still going to be waiting for the track clearance, although I think as soon as this one leaves the station, this one will appear properly in the station, start loading, and then we'll have to wait for this guy to move out, but... I don't think that's going to be a problem long term. If I was concerned, though, I could put some extra signals in here just to cause them to be able to leave a little bit sooner. But I think we're all right. We can probably bring up the speed here. So let's check out, take a look at our tasks. We have to deliver 30 loads of meat to Saguenay. And, oh, we have to deliver some meat to the warehouse just outside of town here. Okay, well, let's get that started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a line here. I'm going to have you come in basically over here as well there we go that's looking okay we'll buy that we'll do the same thing with the signal there and this warehouse so this could be used to store things you can use a warehouse for all kinds of convenient stuff you can use it as a nice central location for your own resources and redistribute them here we're just going to go ahead with the quest and we're gonna have to tell the warehouse that it's supposed to store meat and it's, we're gonna allow it to store up to two or up to 20 we need to store 16 for this quest that's going to be okay um, and yeah, I'm going to get another train from Quebec to the warehouse. And we'll get one of those in there. Okay. Let's say there might be a little bit of a queue waiting for some stuff over here, but ultimately they'll be fine. There you go. It's going to start moving. Random breakdown. Oh no. Don't be breaking down. Oh, professor. Ooh. I don't think this professor is what I want. Professor lets you sell innovation points for money. I want the other way around. I don't remember what that one is called. I want the one where you um, you spend money to get innovation points. Because I need to tech. Got a surveyor over here. Um, ooh, I should have picked you up sooner. Get discount for things. Express line is in dangerous. Faster locomotive is available. Not to us, not yet. We'll just have to get some tech. Although, oh! Ah. Hmm. We can't get this guy yet. We could save up for the dragon. It's most oriented towards freight, though. As opposed to an express. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, we'll unlock the caboose. And then we'll unlock the dragon. And that'll be three unlocks, so then we can get this locomotive afterwards. Okay. Motor... Greater number of citizens, advertisements. Mm. Mm. Stoker gives us extra speed if we give it to a train. Sure, we'll hire you. And you over here. Let's give you a stoker. You'll move 5% faster. That's going to be handy. I like that. We don't need a promoter. I think we're fine without this. We do have a time limit for our quests here. So we have until the end of 62, which is the year we're currently in, to finish delivering the meat to both of these places. Now, Quebec, all right, you've got some meat sitting here, which is good. You're trying to convert the wood to there. How much wood do you have stockpiled? Zero right now. So that makes me think... Logging, you have tons of wood there. As do you. Okay, we need, we need some more... We need more trains. Cornfield. Uh, I'm going to live without that. Got another train from here to there. I could have just found one of mine and just cloned it, but that's going to be fine. Let's get you. Heck, I'm going to clone you again. So we now have four trains coming from Archer Clearing to Quebec. And then we'll do a similar thing with this guy. Is this one of you? That's one of you. I'm going to clone you twice. One and two. 
So now we have four trains over here as well. And they're going to keep going back and forth. Um, so I think in the end, there'll always be one waiting. So what I'm going to do then... I really want more throughput. We are going to need more stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, you can build a maintenance building here. Andy, I'm going to expand the station to get another track and then another siding where people where the trains can wait. And I'm going to double track you uh, all the way to here, at which point you will merge up. Then over here, what we're going to do is one of those and one of those. And we're going to want some signals. Only enter into the little crossover if it's empty. But then from the crossover, I think what we're going to do is I am going to go... Oops, wrong way around. Uh, there we go. I am going to give you guys directionality. And, oh, I guess what I can do is... Control shift and get a bunch of these signals. There we go. So now there should be a lot less waiting for these trains because trains can use either one of these and then what they'll do is they'll cross over so that they're correctly driving on the right hand side. Well, correct. Arbitrarily, I chose right hand side drive for my trains. There's no reason you have to do it that way. You're going to go th straight through this little X crossing and then keep going and you'll not get in each other's way. You did stop for just a second because of that, which is okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an extra signal tower or supply tower over here. To restock these guys. Now, Quebec is a very busy city. So, oh, it's got a maintenance building. Lovely. Because I was going to say, it could potentially use a maintenance building. Now, over here, I think what I'll do is I'm also going to upgrade you. Yeah, it's not even that expensive. Bam. And I, I might not get fancy here because this is a pretty short little run. So, all I'm going to do is merge you up like that. Pan build. That way. People can get there. The, there's built-in signaling at the train tracks, so this does mean that two trains can be waiting over there, which is going to be okay. Um, is anyone stuck? No, we would get a little pop-up if, if anyone were stuck. You're waiting there, which is okay. You're going in there. I guess all our trains are pretty busy, aren't they? Train list. Waiting at clearing. Oh, there is some having to wait over here. All right. Yeah, that's really... This is a really busy area. Um, let's demolish, not the whole run, I don't want to do that. There you go. We're going to run you parallel all the way. Try that again. Oh, are you not are you not cool with this? Oh, hold on. Hmm. Oh, you're not you're not okay with that. Let's see what it can do. Uh, I'm going to remove the signal. I'm not sure that that's the problem. I think it's the actual rail getting it in its way here. section that section that section oh oh click there now remove that that's what i was looking for thank you game okay there we go green all the way here i'm gonna bring you to here then merge you in i'm gonna purchase that i was trying to save money because of the bridge here but obviously that was a mistake and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some more signals so now these trains are gonna be able to move Quite a bit further. I mean, there's still a little bottlenecking over here, but it's not too bad. Um, and yeah, people are able to use all of the different uh, sections here. Are you stopping for supply or are you waiting? Station master. What is a station master? Streamline process working all stations, reducing time taken for dispatching trains 5%. That sounds like a great idea and exactly what we're looking for. 
Uh, inventor, there you go. Spend money to get um, innovation points. Promoter analyst. How's the hysteria stock market based on false report? Well, we're not actually interacting with share prices, so that's okay. Research. Yeah, we can afford this, but it's not um, it's not unlockable, so we have to wait a little bit longer before we finish that. Okay, moving, moving. You're waiting here, which is fairly legit. Where is it? Oh, it's because of this guy. That's exactly what's going on there. Well, I mean, could move it closer because this is a bit of a dead area. And this is such a busy area of track. Yeah, hold on a sec. Um, so shift, click. To... Thank you. Oh, wait for the train to get by. Okay. So shift, click. Oh, resetting the trains? Cause Oh, I see. I may want to wait longer, but no, nah, this is fine. We're going to bring you to here and then merge you up there. A and build. And then we're going to signal. And something like that. Okay. Now, there's still going to be a little bottlenecking because there's a limit to our... Um, our platforms over here but that should still help once the trains start moving they'll be closer to where you want uh which one of these two do i want to do suitability mixed and wheeler 37 or freight got a lot more tractive power you know i think the 10 wheeler is going to do fine for us let's do that and we can consider maybe replacing some locomotives hmm How's our actual uh, quest coming? Okay, we're halfway here. We haven't gotten all, any of the meat to the warehouse yet. And we only have one train doing that, but that's, you know, not really a problem. You've got plenty of wood sitting there, so we're just waiting for this. Uh, we see this, this industry is getting more and more expensive because it's actually getting goods there. I think it will auto-promote itself with this. As long as we keep delivering and collecting the resources, as long as it's producing goods, it will um, eventually promote itself. Logging to Quebec 4. Okay, yeah, that's just a logging truck that's empty on its way back. I'm wondering, did I overdo it on the logging? Well, no, because we still... Oh my god, yeah, you're actually, like, still waiting. Act for Transcontinental Railroad, gifts to the entrepreneurs. Convoy loses a pony. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, train full of logs. And another one over here. What I might do is I think I will cancel one of these trains. Get some money back. Because it's still, it's still really busy over here. The other thing I could do is change, actually. Um, where do I want to go for this? Set up rail line. When you get to Quebec... Force you to use a certain track. This is utilization. This one here is really quiet. Although they're still going to get in each other's way a little bit. But we might be able to get a little bit more flow through here. Because you're going to use a different platform where the utilization is pretty low. Whichever train I had selected here. Oh! You know, saving the changes might also be important. Shush! You saw nothing! Go to max speed. All right. About halfway through the year. We've made some progress. I'm worried about the warehouse. I did, um... Ooh, ooh, hold on. Oh, that was just a breakdown. Okay. What's the train going back and forth over there, right? What is this? I think it's just called Big Warehouse. Um, Big Warehouse. You over here. You're being serviced. You are picking up meat. Okay, good. Very near Moncton. I really don't need any more wood. Nope, we're good. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more area to work with. I guess I could have even 
railroad police transport fee increase sure we'll invest in that i could even grab logs from here i wonder if that would have been better or not i don't think it matters anyway, this sound is shrinking I say it was out of meat it's also out of beer was part of it fuck you First meat delivery. I wonder if I should upgrade this guy. I'm not really speed limited there. Although, the faster the trains move, the less they'll, they'll sort of bottleneck over here. But I think it's mostly the loading and unloading time. There you go. This is the one that's going to go to this siding, which is lovely. Um, engineer, conductor, security guard. I'm going to buy them all. And we are going to give you an engineer for speed. Got a conductor available. We'll assign you. And a security guard will assign you. Oh, and they have they have um, compatible traits. So this one is going to boost the behavior or the, uh, the relationship with the other, which is really nice. Oh, there's a stoker available. Hire you. Ah, there you go. Double, double green happening. So these guys are getting a substantial amount of... Um, of mood boost, which is nice to see. We want a reporter free oh, bandit. Oh yeah, it takes over someone else's train. No, we don't need to do anything nasty like that. No negative articles. Task complete. Which one completed? Meet here is done. We have eight more we have to deliver there. Um, I'm wondering, should we? I'm gonna keep this train going, but I'm gonna tell you, ooh, not here. I'm going to tell you, you are only doing passengers and mail. So this is not going to take any meat from Quebec City. And what I'm going to do, just to try to make sure, this is not about making money, this is about completing quests. I'm going to get a separate train going from Quebec City to the big warehouse. Add a locomotive. Um, oh, that's because it's new. Uh, this is mostly, yeah, we're going to go with the 10-wheeler here. For the freight, you've got a stoker available. Um, yeah, no task. Good. Okay. Waiting for track clearance because there is someone there right now. Delivering the logs. Oh, we've got plenty of meat sitting there. So this should actually be fine as soon as it's done and the track is clear. I should have gotten at the start on a different um, a different platform, but it's going to be okay. These guys will clear out. There it is. And... Eight, yes, and eight is exactly how much we've got left to deliver. I think as soon as this gets there... Oh, my God, new tasks. Well, we are reaching the end of the video. So I'm very excited to be completing this job here, delivering meat to the big warehouse. Ah, gain his trust, then make it profitable. Reach population, growing the town. Well, that's not so bad, actually. Um, this town here is currently stable. As long as, say, if we ship some corn and beer over here... It would actually be pretty easy to get Saguenay's population up. Um, that's grain. They wanted corn specifically, didn't they? Ooh. Where can we get corn? Oh my god. I didn't even notice. Sudbury's here. This is where I live. Hey, hey! How cool is that? Hmm. Yeah, well, everyone wants corn is part of the issue. Ooh. Yeah, that corn might be a little tricky. Corn might be a little tricky. What else did you want? Um. Her? Oh. Probably just have to get out on this mode. There we go. What else did you want that I might be able to give you? You also want grain. Now, you're getting a little bit. We could ship a little bit more. And beer. Now, if I recall correctly, Montreal does have beer available. We need to tr give logs over here. What I think would probably end up happening is we'd redirect some of our logging trains down to Montreal. I'd want to redesign this intersection, I think, to maybe more of like a, like a four-way kind of thing. And we'll redirect some of these lumber trains down to Montreal so that we uh, we can trade the lumber for beer. Or I could just do this. Oh, that's probably way easier. All right? Okay, I gotta I got end this video. But the problem with this game, it's like, no, no, I just have, it's just, I just have to do one more thing, you guys. Just one more thing. Forever. We do a little thing like that. Set up a rail line from here to there. 
Um, do that, add a locomotive. We'll just use a 10-wheeler because it's definitely freight. We can back out here. So logs would get delivered to Montreal, which would produce beer, which would then start to get dropped off in places, which would help grow it. Uh, we'd still need a, a run that can basically go from Montreal to Saguenay here. But um, that actually wouldn't even be that difficult to set up. Because we could just go and go over, you know, our roads and things like this. There's nothing stopping me from doing that, other than the fact that it's very expensive. We'd have to figure out some, some bridges or not. Uh, you can adjust height if you hold shift and mouse wheel. So we could go and raise up and then figure out good places to cross through all these things. Um, and we might we might consider something like that. But yeah, this is going to have to be the end of this video. Um, I think we covered all the talking points. Again, Railway Empire, the complete collection is out now for PC and consoles. Links down in doobly-doo with more information. Um, yep, yeah, there was snow. Oh, night mode settings. Oh, we didn't really show off the night mode too much, but we did show off the weather, and uh, I think we covered the uh, the major gameplay features. Uh, if you do check my channel, you'll see there are some previous videos of Railway Empire. This was uh, when it was brand new, so there were no there's no additional content or anything like that. But um, yeah, I like this game. It's so lovely, and it's so just one more thing, which is nice. Oh, this is up for um, well connection bonus. Really, when you do need grain, probably that's what I'd do next. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.